Now, we know about sending email, receiving email. Also, I did not receive your email yet. However, I teach you more about email. Maybe the next email you are going to send me make a little bit fancy. Let's see. Compose for email, right? And here, just send again to myself because I want to show you a student. Make sure, check the spelling. A student uh, 31762 at gmail.com. See, computer remember last time. So this time I don't have to type the whole thing. I just come over here, one click on it. Subject, put my own name here, J. Letter, the, the email. Thank you very much for your uh, back space to delete it for your email. Uh, and then I want to say congratulations. Congratulations. I want to make a little bit of a mistake. See if the computer can catch it for me and how we can fix it. Now, here, I want to put my name, assuming my, uh, my full name in, instead of J is Javad, all right? And now computer doesn't have that one either. Perfect. Now, at the bottom, look at here. Remember it says, must be able to see and read. I don't know what is that. It's a formatting option, one click. Wow, I got a lot of options here. Now, I highlight these are so little. I want to make it larger. Highlight here. Oh, here it says size. I click on huge. Perfect. Now, what is this guy? Bold. If I want to make it a little bit darker. Now, here, the color. Come over here. It says, well, I want a blue color. All right, done. One click. Perfect. Now, here, this is mistake. Wow, congratulations. How can I? I don't know how to spell that. Now, at the bottom, very bottom here, it says more options. One click on it, it says check a spelling. If I click, it just highlight both of them. Now, then what is it? I don't see the right uh, or any suggestion. I can come over here, just one click. Ah, congratulations, thank you. And one click here. And now second one, one click, it says none of them is my name. But I want this name because I'm going to use it a lot. If you have a word that just like your name or some company name or something that Google doesn't have in its own dictionary, you can add it to the, to the dictionary. How can I do that? I don't know. Let's see. One click here. This time I press the right button. As soon as I press the right button, I get the menu. Remember always right button of your mouse gives you a menu and the menu is different based on wherever you click on. Now here it says add to dictionary. If it says ignore means this is only one time use. It says this is fine, just ignore it. But if all the time I'm going to use this name, this is my own name or my company name or something, it says add to dictionary. One click, I'm done, finish. Now, I want to send it. Just click on send. I make it fancy, very nice, very good, and I send it. If I want to change the uh, the text, si not the size, the font. Now if I click again here, come over this guy here. Here it says font. Font means text. Okay, let's go this way here. So oh, this is nicer. And one click to remove the highlighting. Lots of options you have. Now if I click on send right here is gone so this is about formatting your text make a different size different font it's, uh, checking your spelling all of those how easy you can do it